Slovenia in all black receiving. This is the second semi-final from the Men's Volleyball Nations League here in Rimini, Italy. And it's a really good serve to get things going. And Earnout works the block. Slovenia have their side out. I don't know how fast that serve was, Clayton, but it was an absolute bullet to set the tone. Amazing job for Slovenia to even just pass that up. A nice tool from Earnout to start it off. Roprek back to the serving line for Slovenia. Decent ball in, and the middle works by Karnowski. He may not be the tallest, but he's one of the quickest. Yeah, and just really swaying really hard on that. He's, he's fresh. They've just had warm-ups. That one drills it to cross court, just over five, way above the height of the net. I'm sure I saw his number above that then. That's incredible. <laughs> Correct now to serve for Poland. Another good ball in, options for Slovenia, they get the pipe working. Yeah, Chebel, he's going to be one of the stars to watch today. One of the attack leaders at this tournament, and that one's out of the back court. He'll hit it from any direction. Any height, any speed. Burnout's first serve is dealt with by Leon, who's yet to have a swing. He does now, though, and he's into the game. What's impressed me so far, I know we're only four points into this, but is their side out game. Everybody's just had perfect passes, transitioning to perfect attacks. It's very clean so far. It's not as if they're a float serving either, is it? These are full on <laughs> serves. <laughs> Leon now going to show us what he's got from the serving line. It's another belter. This time Slovenia brought off the net, so no middle attack and a chance maybe in transition. First break point opportunity. Oh, well played by Kubiak. Well, we've got a challenge here. Then this might be a block touch challenge from Slovenia to see whether or not Kubiak, he's volleyed into net, whether he's continued the ball on and it's still in his hands when it goes out. He was so strong when he was up there. He just, he went up with two hands, absolutely tried to shove it off of Stern in the front row. Very forceful use. Definitely not disguised either. Kubiak shaking his head, saying, no chance, no chance, off the block. Off the block, coach, not me, honest. Honest governor, we'll soon find out though. Can't get away from Hawkeye. That would suggest it's off the block. And it is off the block. So it was such a great challenge, like a new um, looking, being able to, to look at that and see that now, another addition to what we are able to uh, get a, a really good decision from. And his first break point then for Poland. They now lead 3-2. Leon with his second serve. Oh, it's an ace! Right into that corridor of uncertainty. Yeah, and that's where you've got to see Kovacic, the libero for Team Slovenia, trying to step in, take charge. He's got to communicate with Chebel. Chebel's in the front row, wants to attack that. You can't hesitate as a libero. Not a good way to start it off. You've got to really take charge in the backcourt, step in and take that, regardless of how fast or hard that serve is. Uh, and don't blink. Leon again, 4-2 for Poland. Just the net taking the full force of that one, that time. And that, that sends Alan Pying back to the serving line. And what Leon does so well on the service line is he just gives her everything every single time. That's why you do see him with a large amount of errors, but it pays off with a large amount of aces. Oh, Sting taken out of that one by the net. Well, that's a cracking block as Kubiak had nowhere to go. Stern wanted revenge for that earlier play where Kubiak just used his arms. And on this one, he turned his arms so far back into the middle of the court. You can see this. He was saying, no way, Jose. Almost actually goes out on the other side. But that's a fantastic block from Stern. 
That break point puts Slovenia back on level terms, trying to serve again. The ball in from Leo. Correct first swing, he's dug. Excellent dig. Well, there's no room for Chevel to get past the block, and Kubiak, after being blocked, gets his revenge. Yeah, that was a massive block, and it's unfortunate because Rob Rat, the setter for Slovenia, got a massive dig on that, but he is the setter. That takes him out of play, and so it was an easier block for Poland. They could put a triple out there and stop him. Kolonowski to the serving line. Options, but not used. That's going to stay in play. Ooh, rather easier ball now, perhaps, for Poland. Kurek not finding the floor. Ooh, but you don't have to hit it hard to find the floor. I'm so happy we saw a player change it up just so we could get a defensive pattern, get a sense of where teams are in the back. Everybody's just been swinging so hard, and that's a smart play right there from Kubiak to switch it up. He's got a bit of seam. Just puts that roll shot right in there in a great placement just in front of Earnout. Earnout's way deep in six, so we'll see if Slovenia makes an adjustment there. Six for Poland. Kronowski to serve again. Good ball in. Oh, yes, wow. that's a great swing. What a really good turn by Kozimernik. A really good turn, really great setup from Rob Pratt. I think he created a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. You see that frequently because the middle attackers are coming up so quick. You see Bienek just release right away. Good use there from the middle blocker to just bang it right in the middle where there's nobody. I think once again, Slovenia down by one. Might stay in play, it has done free ball for Poland. Oh, what a block! What a brilliant piece of play by Slovenia to level things up. You could see in the middle of that rally, Kovacic got a high five from his teammate for this dig. It was so fast. They actually celebrated in the middle of it just because they couldn't believe they got that up. Fantastic block to end it, but all of that started in the back row from Kovacic. It's a great reach inside as well by Kozimernik. He'll be really pleased with that. What a start he's at. Bang, bang, two points. And Slovenia are level. Playing once again. Right out of the lights with Zuzka, and it stays in play. Zuzka with better options now. But well, that's been slowed down, and now Slovenia have a chance to take the lead. Oh, good up by Leon. We've got to go again. Tough one this for Stern. And Poland don't let him get through. Oh, wow, that was an amazing rally. Clayton, the digs, the coverage. These teams have come to play. They are in this to get to the final. They are not willing to give up. Look at that pick up there, first of all. And then the block, Vienet closing. And that's a block really tight down the line. Lots of cross court, but Vienet still gets a hand on it. Just get to serve. Poland have edged in front. What a fantastic first set we're having so far. Shevel one on one. He's not going to get stopped. No, he is not. And once again, the serve received so far for Slovenia. They gave up that one ace that hit the ground between two, but the passes have been so great. Vienek completely burned. That's the middle blocker for Poland. Doesn't get out. Chebel sees the cross court way open, makes no mistake. Well left. We'll go to the technical timeout. It's Poland just in front in what has been a pulsating first third to this first set so far. Niente male in particolare al servizio. Mo che abbiamo preso le direzioni verso il nostro obiettivo, ci mettiamo un po' più di potenza. E ricordatevi, prima di me non c'è errore, io spingo. 
se c'è errore prima di me facciamo, facciamo quello che dobbiamo fare ricordatevi adesso l'opzione di allargare eh? dobbiamo toccarli stiamo lì in mezzo a prendere la palla eh? in particolare il posto 6 non si muove quando apriamo le mani rimane in mezzo Well, if you can believe it, coach is saying from Slivini, we need more power. I'm not sure where they're getting it from. <laughs> oh, don't worry, people, that's not a barbecue. That is, in fact, a ball sanitizer. It's not going to come out all crispy. But some modern technology to uh, get the balls cleaned in between the rallies. Kubiak will serve. Fascinatingly poised this match so far. Good lead by Erno. Only a few misses early on here. I'm really impressed given the velocity of all of the serves and their ability to make it. Clip the tape a few times, that's good. And the misses are just out, Clayton. All the serves have been fishing for passes. Was with a relatively easy serve, but the commit block keeps the rally going. Not oh. any longer though, Kubiak with his long reach able to put that one away. And that dig looked like it was clearing the net by a significant amount, so I felt like they were going to play a free ball up, but look at this arm reach. 3.31 meters up in the air. That was a plane in the sky and he just knocked it right out. Off of no jump, off of no steps. Yeah, that's dunking, that's putting sense on the top of the backboard, isn't it, in basketball with that kind of jump. Bieniek now for Poland, good serve, he's got that really wicked hybrid serve, but Slovenia deal with it. That ball had gone outside the antenna, which is why Leon was able to go running after it. Bit of a lost cause. You could see Slovenia on the line yelling out, 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 and I could see a player coming out of nowhere, and I thought, who's, who's going to take that? But... Leon's allowed to play that. He has to run, though, outside of the antenna. You see him? Just too late. We're tied up at nines. Excellent ball in from Kubiak. Kowanowski again. He's in early. He's up high. So many middle runs early because all of the passes. Look at this. It's easy to Passes right up to him. He feeds his hitters, giving them a lot of opportunities. That one was pretty quick. He stayed on the ground for that one, didn't really jump set either. Kurek, ready to serve. Well watched. Oh, Leon just trying so hard on that to go over the top. He had a, a windmill arm swing, quite literally. You see players sometimes with that, whether they think they're generating extra power or just trying to get their elbow way up. That one was a very high swing, but he wasn't able to snap his hand at the end. That's what creates that top spin, lets the ball drop in the, in the court. That why, that's why it sailed out. Puts us all square again. And the captain for Slovenia now with the serve. Burnout. Set. Oh, that was wonderful. What a really good set from Drishka from one side of the court to the other. Wasn't the strongest serve from Earnout, and his toss was actually a little bit inside the court, so that creates an easy pass for Poland. That one almost going over top of Chebol, but just in between his arms. Poland up by one. And now it's Leon to serve. He had an ace. And he was back at the serving line in the last time he was there. Doesn't get one this time. And that's not coming over. Still not coming over. What a great block from Kubiak. Yeah, he moved in at the last minute. Interesting choice from Stern. That's the opposite hitter for Slovenia to tip that one, especially given he only had one block. Watch this. All alone. Kubiak reaches his arm in at the last minute to flick it over. I think that Stern thought he was going to have an open field, an open opportunity right behind his block. 
having a good game so far as the captain. Doesn't matter, as long as you get the ball into the setter, that's all that counts. And Slovenia are able to run their middle, Pajank puts it down. Yeah, their passing is fantastic. Sometimes it's not quite right up there to Rob Pratt, but it's in the region. He's been able to run a fast offense, going to whoever he wants to. That time, his target is Pajank. Pajank with the serve. Poland with two front court options, plus two back court. And that time, Kurek gets the better of Chevel. Chevel's getting up, he's getting really high, but he's not actually watching any contact. He's looking down at his toes. Yeah, and I mean, he's a great blocker on the outside. Here's another look at him. He just makes that little push with his abdomen, actually. That's where the power comes from, your abs when you push over at the last minute. But Kurek's just so hard to block, he's everywhere. Kolonowski now. Well, that's a good serve. It will stay in play. But we've got a good as a free ball. Ooh, well, it is a free ball now. That one just a little low. And now the net's going up and down, but I think they're going to call for a, a net touch, but the net's going up and down because the ball landed on it just before in the middle of that rally. So often we see that, but the, the net's going up and down at the end of the point, and players think, oh, there must be a net touch. But because the ball had hit the net in the rally, and it was still going up and down. Yeah, and Kurek's hit didn't look like it hit anything. Here's a look at it again. Yeah, no block touch. <laughs> and that's a big point for Slovenia. They made that save off of a bad pass on serve receive. Remember when Kozimirnik went up and hit it from a, you know, he was off of the net, didn't even have a visual view of the court, hits it. That's when that ball ticked the tape. Good play. Hey, serve for Slovenia. And now we're all level again. Stern with an absolute belter. Watch where this one goes. Deep into the court. You can see that Leon just watches it cross him. Thinks it's maybe going to be long. Great placement from Stern. No question. Both teams are pumped for this one. And neither can get away from each other at the moment. Well, Slovenia, though, with another ace. Two in a row for Stern. And they take the lead. You see their target right now is Leon. He's big in the back row. They aced him once, they've aced him again. It's probably a good time to take a timeout. I ain't seen enough. I'll try also to follow what's happening, guys. We were passing good, last two balls. It's the only thing, where is the difference? We are doing good job in block defense. We touch a lot, but we have four attacks mistake already. Four on 13 points is a lot. There we give a lot away, guys. So there we have to be smart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the rest of our game is okay, guys. Here's the ace again. And you're absolutely right. Getting that ball kind of across Leon. He wasn't sure because of that last one. And then Zatorski's trying to help out. And, and the rule on passing is when it's coming from that angle, it's the passer on the right that takes it because they've got a better attack angle. When you have to actually reach to your right, it's awkward. And so that's where it's always you pass to your left. The person on the right takes it. Stern looking for a hat trick of aces. Certainly make Kubiak work. And now it's into transition. Chebel against three, gets the better of them. And Slovenia lead by two. A great up from Stern, dug up. Kubiak's attack, you can see that's that final swing, but it was all generated from the dig. Poland's been able to get a triple block on a lot of plays so far. So if Slovenia can figure out how to work with that off hands or even figure out where to place it in the court, that might be their ticket here. Oh, 
Stern once again. Poland desperately looking for side out. Kubiak doesn't offer it, and there's nobody there. There's trouble here for Poland. Not anymore, though. Kurek rescues the situation. <laughs> that was about to get a little sticky on the Polish side. You could see Kubiak was still on the ground after that ball. There he is getting mixed up with things. And for Slovenia, they needed to see that earlier and get a triple block out there, or at least close that seam up. Because when there's one hitter taken out of the rotation, that's when you can really start guessing. Zizka will serve for Poland. Nice ball in by Chebel. Oh, the heights of that contact. He must be around the top of the antenna with that swing. Oh, yeah, and he was out there so fast. There was a bit of, a, of lateness on that Polish block, some hesitation. Chebel sees it. Now they've got a two-point lead. Good, and, and watch. Go. Great run of points from Stern from the serving line. This gives him this little bit of a, a cushion. It's not exactly a comfy one. Here's that look again. Chebul way high, fast set. A little bit of seam. Basically, that's the triple threat for a hitter. Well, on that stats, 82 centimeters above the height of the net when he hit that one. That's just incredible. <laughs> Kubiak will go back to the serving line. Chebel now has to focus on passing forget that serve error. Kubiak's got a really good serve. He can hit either corner with his serving from that central position. It's difficult to read at times. Chebel puts a good pass in. Stern doesn't find a way through. Oh, no, wow. does. That was an incredible roll shot over the block. Watch how Slovenia covers their hitters too. That one was dug up by Chebul. They were blocked. And then the attack. Oh, this is perfect placement. Also, right amount of speed. It's not too hard. It's a very delicately hit ball. Hanan says, we got to get that up. <laughs> you get the feeling he thinks that the defenders weren't in the right place for that one. He did look like Zuzka had just crept in a little bit behind the block. Kosovernik serve, dealt with by Satorski to a degree, and then wow. Leon completely deals with it. When he jumps his full height and the set's there so he's got his full reach, I don't know if there's a single blocker in the world that can stop him. He just has that athleticism, that God-given talent and jump. It's, it's unstoppable. <laughs> Novakovsky's come into the front row to replace Kowanowski. Have a look at this swing. Careful, you might just touch the camera here. <laughs> it's a really, really big front row, this, for Poland. With Novakovsky and Leon and Kurek. So they're going to have their work cut out for them if they can't get a good ball in and try and split Poland's block. Focuses, gets ready to deliver his serve. It's a very good serve. Oh, well played, her now. Yeah, really well played. That triple block was at the pin. There's actually no way where that was set, 
that Earnout could have gone down the line. He was so outside of the court. So it's interesting that that's why they placed the block there. It's almost like in that situation, Korok was a waste of a block because he wasn't going to be blocked. That's where he needs to set it farther inside, and then you also prevent the tool. Got a change for Slovenia. Rock Mozic is on. That's some name. Correct. Straight past Mozic as if he wasn't there. And he's not going to be there much longer. He's been substituted out. That's a tough position to be put in. He's brought in to make a block. I'm sure they talked about where his positioning was going to be on Kurek. He took him a little bit cross court, left a smidge of line, but Kurek goes way hard cross. Kurek now looking to go way hard with his jump serve here. Our options for Slovenia. Yes. Oh, well. Oh, Poland thought that that ball was on their side. The referee very clearly said no. It was there to be blocked by Slovenia. It was a really disciplined play up at the net by Slovenia. I don't think it was crossing the plane. Zatorski here makes the dig. And you can see right away Payank goes up and that's fine. That's a great play from the middle blocker. And out with the serve. Still, despite that serving error, it's Slovenia who have the lead. Poland need a point from service just to get level. Slovenia have the luxury, if this keeps on going, of potentially siding out to take the set. Still a long way before we get to that, though, you feel, with the way this one's gone so far. Big serve. Good cover. But not the second time, Juska makes the block on Chebel. Yeah, you can only ask so much for coverage. Kovacic got that first one up, really nice placement, nice and low, actually sets it up. And then you can see Chebel going once again, but they are perfect placement down the line. And you know what? When that's the, where the block position is, you just got to move on and say, yep, yeah, nice play. The on to serve. Huge serve. Big block again from Poland. They're on a serving run. They've gone from 18-19 to 20-19 in front. And it's Novakovsky as well, who was substituted into the game, makes that play. Right now, Slovenia has been trying to change up their attacks a bit more, put some tips in, roll shots, but Poland's picking up on that. I think Slovenia needs to go back to just swinging hard. Gasparini's coming in to replace Stern through the opposite slot. And now Slovenia called the timeout. Ante mezzo, bravo Panci. Mi raccomando, la qualità del primo tocco quando il nostro attaccante gioca con il muro. La qualità del primo tocco è importantissima. Eh? E andiamo sul primo tempo. Ovviamente, ricordatevi che saltano, quindi pronti a lavorare verso uno l'attacco. Dai, 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 dai. dai, dai. The coach wants the quality emphasis on that first pass, but that's easier said than done when you're not really passing these, so you're defending them, they're being hit so hard. <laughs> it's a great comparison to make, they're coming so hard, their attacks. Again, once again. Chevel up high over the top, but he hasn't found the court. That's the risk you take when you try to go over top of a block, but you can't jump like Leon. We know Chevel can get up high, but that one he was really trying to go over top at that angle and hits it out. Well, they're going to have a look just, just in case it may have sniped any part of the line. Oh, no. 
maybe the yeah the bottom line of VNL. So no more video challenges left for Slovenia. They have a timeout left and three substitutions, should they wish to use them. This has been a really good serving run for Leon. Oh, and I spoke too soon. <laughs> Nothing like a commentator, Jinx. Apologies to all those of you supporting Poland. I didn't do it on purpose. And for those of you supporting Slovenia, I still didn't do it on purpose. One in it. Can Payek turn it around? Slovenia now trailing. And we're right towards the business end of this first set. Oh dear, miss hit from Payek. We've got another change coming here for Poland. Kaczmarek's coming in. Blocking substitution. It's going to work out who's going to go where. Kubiak may go over to position two. He may, and then act as a setter. He may not. Mark is out wide. He gets a touch. Good pick up that by Bieniek. Now high and wide for Kubiak. Oh dear, this is what happens when you haven't got a setter on court. A little bit of confusion and a chance maybe now for Slovenia. Oh yes, what a set. But do you, I don't believe that Gasparini's missed. He just missed it. And that was a very interesting rally. Catch Merrick was, oh, we're gonna, let's take a time out here. Kubiak might have winded himself. Oh, he's right back up, he's okay. He's getting but, a little bit old, just needed a bit of a breather. Yeah. And we saw Kaczmarek substituted into this rally. He made two great plays at the net. That was one of them. He also made a great block touch to start the rally off. Had some confusion because you don't know who's ever going to step in and take that second ball at one point, but Poland got out of it. And now they're only two away from this opening set. Nowakowski with the serve. That's a perfect ball in. I expected Gasparini to put it away. He hasn't. Slovenia will get another chance, though. Free ball. Earn out. Make sure. Great run from Raw Pret. He went back to the well. In this case, Gasparini a few times. Loves that right side set. Gasparini had that same attack angle both times. Really cross court, sharp angle. We haven't seen. Slovenia go from the back row frequently. So this was a nice time to do it, switch it up. Blocks way drifting, which basically creates open angles. Gasparini with his first serve of the match. Having come in as a substitute earlier on in the set. He's got the better Leon. Slovenia now trebling up on Kubiak. And a chance, maybe, for Chebel. And again, and that time. Oh dear, he's missed the line. He knew it right when he landed, too. You could see the look on his face. Looked like the angle was right there, but just got too cute with it. It's set point now for Poland. Semenyuk's coming in, replacing Kubiak. Timeout call by Slovenia. Oh, he's overcut it, hasn't he? Instead of just hitting through it and hitting down across his shoulder. Good position now for Poland. Hey, Tona, Tona, give me a little bit of a break, please. Here, here. Here, there's the ball high and the ball is good. The ball high, we'll play it well. The ball is good, we'll play it all hard without risking the lines. All hard, all hard! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, 
Grishka ready to serve. Slovenia have to side this out. Cheval works the block. Great bounce back there from the outside hitter after making a mirror. He got blocked also another time in that previous rally. So this time goes up, uses it. And that's going to give some big life right now to Slovenia. Semenyuk's job done. So he's off and now a new player onto court for Slovenia in Matic Videcnik. Bit of height of the net, they need to stop Poland. Cheval needs to get this serve in. Next job done. Second job not done. Leon puts it away on the pipe. Poland take the first set 25-22. some set it started amazingly did point for point for point top level volleyball I think it still ended that way too you know there were some really fantastic plays and the passing for both teams was unbelievable everything's going right up to the setter we didn't see a lot of sprayed balls here's the set point let's take a look at this one once again great pass up to Zizga and his run the set choice was fantastic he had Bienek coming in the middle and you can see both blockers a little late. Slovenians outside had to close and that gave Leon a great chance. Leon didn't need to do his classic huge jump and smack down on that one. He just needed to place the shot where the blockers weren't and where there was open court in the back row. You can see frustration in Giuliani's face. I think you're absolutely right. Poland just gave Slovenia a smack down then in that, in that first set. Here are the stats that uh, tell the tale of it. Poland five blocks, Slovenia two. Slovenia more aces. In terms of opponent errors, Slovenia gave Poland seven points. Poland only gave Slovenia five. Kurek's been playing well. It was pretty much a team effort from that point of view. And here's some of Kurek's best bits so far. It's the cross court angle for me. That's where he nails it, both in speed and placement. He always sees the angle open, we saw him with this swing a lot against France in the preliminary round. Poland lost that one in five sets. Now, Cork did not play when Poland played Slovenia in the preliminary rounds. So Slovenia right now is probably making some adjustments. They've obviously scouted these teams, seen video of them against all the other teams here at Volleyball Nations League. But when you're facing the hit for the first time, it's a completely different game. When you're in on the court there, it's the speed, you can watch it, but you can never appreciate the speed and the power when you're watching any kind of sport, really, until you're there and you're in the thick of it. This is what chebel has been up to. He started really brightly, just a couple of unforced errors at the end. But he's another one, hits the ball from such a high point and able to put it pretty much anywhere he wants. Rob Pratt, one of our players to watch as well, who's feeding Chebul all of these balls. I think he gave Chebul the angles that he wanted. He put it out there to the pin. That's really important. You don't want to leave a hitter inside. That creates some challenging block looks. But I think right now, Chebul just needs to find a bit more of his rhythm. And again, forget that hit where he had it out down the line in the last set. I believe that's the one that gave Poland set point. But that's just one error he needs to move on from. Away we go with set two, Slovenia serving, Poland leading one set to nothing in this FIVB Volleyball Nations League semi-final here in Rimini, Italy. It's self-cover. Leon doesn't find fingers, or does he? There's a challenge coming. You heard it through the microphone. There was eclipse something, whether it was a bit of the net, that was definitely a fingernail. That pointer finger. High ink. Yeah. 
Good call by Poland. So they have their side out. Yenyek back to serve. There's been a change for Poland. And Novakovsky staying on for the second set. Kowalski is on the bench. No changes for Slovenia. Stern back on to court. There's a touch. That one caught the Libro on its way out. Kovacic. Now, Slovenia didn't even need to think about the middle on this one. Novakovsky was out of the play. He just stands there. Watch this. After making that block, just stands in the middle of the court. And so that's where I think that Slovenia could have done a better job of blocking that one on Leon, taking more of that cross away from him. 2 nothing already for Poland. Yenyek with the serve. scrambling and now it's into transition for Poland high and wide for Kurek but he can't have a full swing Stern only cross available and it was a great cross-court angle he put on that to beat Kubiak yeah fantastic angle and once again that set is outside of the court and that's fine for row prep but you're seeing Kurek going right to the pin on the antenna when the set is outside, you have to move the block inside the court. There's no way he can hit down the line there. So it's, again, a waste of space on the block. That can be more effective for Poland. A couple of times now, Poland haven't made good reads when Slovenia have had a ball outside the antenna. But it's worked in Slovenia's favour. And now it'll be earnouts to serve. Slovenia looking to get level. And they will do, because of the unforced error from Kurek. We don't see him make very many errors. He's a very clean hitter, very powerful hitter. And out again. Leon thinks there's a touch. It's not been given. You can see that sail out of his hand. Again, no topspin on that one. Miss hit almost from Leon. And we're going to have a look and see whether he's got lucky again. Although he'll tell you it wasn't lucky, he was aiming for the fingers. And we didn't find him. That's because the nails had gone off the last one. Yeah. <laughs> done it again but now he's convinced on the fact it's been given as a touch so the ref saying that there is a touch and now Slovenia are going to challenge or chain challenge or both teams were cheering at the end of that rally thinking they'd gotten the point I thought it was the exact same hit as the last play and that Leon's just got to adjust his arms really he's got to start getting that roll uh, that's by the way that's not um the same one we just saw that's in yeah. fact the point we just that's just happened but it's exactly the same outcome yeah and again did you see leon's hands on that one his arm swing he's got to start snapping that wrist because right now it's kind of pushing through too much well leon was clearing up some perspiration and the referee blew for the whistle to serve but he's uh, slowing things down again so that they can sort that out when you see giovanni with a massive signal saying it's served to five. That's where Leon is. Right now he's missed two hits. Serving him might be, you know, a great choice in getting him off mentally. He wanted to bury that one. That's such a good touch by Stern. And now on the pipe. Slovenia now lead by three. Oh, and you can see Poland spending a bit of extra time in their huddle. Right now, they know that they've given up some big points here to Slovenia, letting them back in the match after taking set one. That's a great attack from the back row from Ernau, just one blocker. Nice net cam view, love that one. 
scoring better. The other side, guys, we give a lot of balls away also. Yeah, we had the, from, the, from the five points, it's three, uh, three spiking mistakes, and one time we have a counter spike we don't do, so we have chances. So it's about siding out and then using chances. <laughs> Right now, Leon's not playing great by his usual very high standards. And maybe one may think as well, perhaps, as far as Heinan's concerned, if this continues for Leon, does he look to replace him with somebody else? Yeah, we'll have to see. And you know, right now, Slovenia is serving really tough. They're not making a ton of errors either. They're playing composed, great volleyball. They've figured out a way to get inside Leon's head a bit. Nice pass from Kubiak, and then belted by Kurek, and side out achieved. You know, a few rallies ago, I wanted to challenge us and say, okay, is Kurek ever going to hit it down the line? Because he'd been going cross court so much, and here, it was hardly any line. He had to smack it off of a portion of Chebel's hand. That was right down. Great, fantastic hit. Good ball in that, off of a tough serve, and now able to run the middle, Payank puts it away. Great side out play, once again, fantastic pass. Rob Pratt, one of the top setters at this Volleyball Nations League tournament, distributes the ball perfectly, and we hadn't seen a middle attack for a while. That was a big one from Kozimernik. Payank with the serve. Brings Jushka up the net, no middle coming for Poland. Oh, that might have been going wide, but no, there was a touch. Chevel just sparing Ernax blushes. He said, yeah, I did touch it. You were right to play it. Yeah, I was looking at the defensive structure there on the Slovenian side. Just kind of curious as to where they wanted to place themselves on that triple block. You can see Ernax way deep in position six. He was in the right place. I was just confused why he couldn't get that one up. Said again from Leon, no middle coming. Chevel with work to do, well covered by her now. Good use of the block by Tonchek Stern. I love Chevel's swing into the block on that one. He was facing a triple block, let some speed off. That allows a team to recycle it and then create this play. There's no point swinging hard into the block when you're gonna get blocked, you know? If you can actually find a way to bring it back, it's a fantastic use. Almost creates a free ball scenario for your team. Stern to serve. Oh, it's an ace from Slovenia. Poland say it's out. They do have a video challenge available. They're gonna check. That ball didn't appear to have any spin on it. Well, the toss was about in the middle of the court. Stern had to approach and literally land so far inside. He had to chase after that. Oh, he's in! Goodness me, what a serve from Stern. And what a call from the first referee with no line judges to be able to see that, snicks it. We'll go to the technical timeout. Slovenia are up by four. Like stop the game, stop. Start to play side out. Not play for the, getting the four points back. They get in the middle, the rhythm. Like get them out of the rhythm. Slow the game down, slow the game down. Take your time, play side out. And again, but very slow. Make the game slow so we come back in the game. That's the first time, guys. Go. Hit hard replay. and fast, isn't it? Well, and where he landed in the court, his toss, I actually didn't think he'd be able to hit it. It was so far inside the court, but he floated. That's what creates so much velocity on a spin serve. When you toss it behind you, you're forced to kind of lob in a different type of a serve. We'll see if he can do it again.
almost, but that's just not good enough at this level. Interesting words from Hainan. He's saying, don't try to chase those four points. Just play side out, get them out of rhythm. And as you heard him say, slow the game down. So don't play at the same speed that Slovenia are trying to play at. Still a long way to go in this set yet. That's a good touch in the block. Well, on a plate for Kurek. His hitting angles are fabulous. He had one right down the line, now he changes it up. That one's tied up to that 5-6 seam. We're going to see the replay right here. Inside the block. But he's had some drilled cross court right now. It's an absolute rainbow of shots. Novikovsky once again. A little bit too high for Ernat, but really well placed to get the better of Kurek. Slovenia has been managing to find some spots open on, on the uh, Polish defense. You see a few times they've had to mop up sweat because they've gotten Polish players on the ground diving, unable to get the ball up. was winding up for that one. He has his finger on the trigger, right? And then he just always bangs it. It's quite amazing to see. It's so hard to defend this ball. Just given the sheer velocity of it, right into the back, into position six, you see that's where the block should be taking that space away. Just good with the placement serve. Oh, he's got the overpass off of Ernout. Another big swing from Kurek, and Poland are now just one behind. Erno floating again on the block in the front row. That's the uh, captain for Team Slovenia. They're there, but the positioning of it, it's not stopped. So that's really challenging to play defense around it. Again, Erno he kind of drifted just a little bit. But when you look at the back row, where you want to know where you're going to play positioning around the block. It's challenging for Slovenia. Oh, great serve from Zuzka. He gets the ace and pull it a level. Kovacic, who's usually just so steady in the back row, that one might have been a screen, and that's where you can't see where the path of the ball is coming out of the server's hands because the blockers in the front are kind of, you can see he's kind of trying to peek around it. It's a tough rotation, this, for Slovenia at the moment. Kovacic again under pressure. But Ernaut does what the captain does best. He's so good at getting his team out of trouble. Yeah, facing three blockers, you know, just tickles their hands right over them into position six. That's the right place to go. And it started with that pass from Kovic. Again, he had a screen. It wasn't easy to see. You saw him getting the way of that serve at the very last minute when it came over the net. Right. Nice ball in for Satorski. Oh, well put away by Bieniak. Both, in fact, all four middles have been really close to the, the one side of the court, but so good at turning the ball back. This is just a fantastic textbook playing on how to get your middles involved and therefore create difficulties for the other middle blocker. I love what both teams are doing. We've got a fantastic match. And we're all tied up again. 10-10. Oh, quick arm from Ernak. That was really well played. He's giving it back to Kirk, making him pay for all the times he got blasted trying to get blocked or trying to block, rather. There we go, nice high up. In fact, Kurek was almost on his way up, a little bit late on that. Well prepped to serve. Good 
Ball in from Kubiak. Oh, nice touch by Kovacic, but it won't stay in play. Mullick's well, playing really well. Oh, he's fantastic. One of the best liberos at this tournament. One of the dig leaders. Into double digits then for Kurek. to serve. Putting her now under a bit of pressure. Oh, nice blocking. And once again, Slovenia, there tends to be, you see it quite a lot, where that all of the defenders get up and almost on the three-meter line and nobody deep to cover. Well, that was strange because you could see that Kovacic actually wasn't involved in that rally in a touching the ball type way, but he was right in there covering. And, you know, that's a great block because usually that back area isn't being covered. You're expecting it to come straight down. Poland have wrestled the lead away from Slovenia. Oprek with his running spikes on. Wow. Well played by Stern. <laughs> he had one idea in mind when he came up for that attack. He was going to try to tool the block. He absolutely did that, but watch his arm swing. I think at this point he knew what was happening. Oh, oh, I hope our camera guy's okay. Nice use. And now, looking through that a little too high, he had to check his run. Ropets drawn off the net, but brilliant from Chevel. He gets it off Zhuzka and away. Yeah, Zhuzka, you can see, just he's he's a little upset about that one. The block came up and really pounced fast. Their arms swung over deep. I was actually expecting that to be a monster block, so very impressive that Chebel found a way through. Hayek now with the serve. Oh dear! Well, what happened there? That's unfortunate. We've seen Leon with some struggles in serve receive and a bit of miscommunication. In this case with the captain, Kubiak. That should be a really easy pass and Leon was releasing. He's front row expecting that Kurek's going to take it, or pardon me, Kubiak, but no communication from the captain. He's got to yell, tell him, get out of here. I'm going to pass that. Hayek to serve. That's an easy lead for Poland. Kubiak really quick to get the guys together, say, come on, let's get playing here, back to where we were in the first set. Just still get the feeling Leon's still not quite where he wants to be with this one at the moment. We saw some big attacks from him in the first set. He found his rhythm, then he lost it. I'm not sure if the boogeyman got him or something, but he's still got, he's got to find that. Find something from the serving line. Oh, nice block. Juska is not going to get wiped again. You've seen the Slovenians pass, receive, just struggling a bit. They're getting that triple block out there, Team Poland is. And right now, they need to get Kozimernik involved, get their middle attackers involved. That's just going to create more opportunities for the hitters. Right now, Slovenia has lacked in the passing department. That last serve from Leon, 132 kilometers an hour. And now he comes up with an ace, cutting it right across Kovacic to take us into the second technical timeout. Clayton, you mentioned earlier, by two. too, you thought you jinxed the servers, but now I think you've helped Leon out. I'm not going to say he's on a good serving run when he goes back <laughs> after this. That one, 120, but it wasn't about the pace. The, the placement was just about perfect. libero chiunque sia vicino a rete per permettere all'attaccante di giocare con il muro. 
la copertura perfetta, perfetta, Iani posto 6, se chi va sotto l'altro rimane lungo, perfetta ragazzi, questo è giocare eccezionale, giochiamo eccezionale, forza! Two for two, he'll take that. Work for Stern to do. That was a tough one for Zatorski, all that spin on it. And Kubiak will get called for a carry. That was a huge point for Slovenia to get out of. You can see Duzgak complaining about that, wondering about if that's a carry, but Slovenia, again, didn't have a great serve receive. You could see right away Poland always gets a triple block out. Here's that nice block to finish things off for Slovenia, but... We had a carry, could have called in for a double as well if it came off the shoulder and then he played it with his other hand. It'll be Stern with the serve. Poland looking to side out to go two in front. Well played, Kurek. A very smart set from Zuzko. He didn't try and think fancy, didn't try and go all the way out to four, anywhere else. Just give it to the big guy. Kosomernik gets the middle ball away. That middle was what Slovenia needed to run. They needed to get him involved, whether that was Kosomernik or whoever in the middle, because look at Kubiak, forced to come in and block that ball. And now the next play, if they do decide to go to Stern in the back row, that's going to keep him guessing. Chebel with the serve. Oh, yes, off the shoulder, on the chest from Kubiak. Oh, brilliant. Such a good play. Yeah, and Leon is the one who's such a banger, but right there, wow, wow. Kubiak, he's the one that's regenerating his team off of the chest. It's just a, you know, we've seen players chest bump each other in the timeouts, but he did it to the ball. I don't know how you count that stat as a pass. <laughs> I think that probably goes but as a perfect pass. It's a it? fantastic attack, too. Krishka serve. Nice block from Vieniek. Clayton, it was amazing because it was a two-man block too. We've seen most of the work being done on the Polish side by the three-person block. Vieniek gets out there, closes it. That's the kind of one that Earnout needs to recognize that there's only two. What can he play around with? Can he put in a different type of shot? Poland leading by three. It's been a big turnaround for them. That's an ace. Zuzka's got it. It's 2016. Are Poland on course to lead 2 0? Slovenia have called timeout. Quando andiamo muro a tre il terzo deve essere invadente. Facciamo un bel lavoro su di lui anche perché lo sta servendo molto in contrattacco. Eh? Dai, via. 
Só desculpe, daí. Right now, Poland is doing a fantastic job with their serves. You saw them go on a bit of a run. Right now, it's Gizga. They've been putting some just, just heat on their serves, really making things challenging for Slovenia. And that's what's gotten them back into this set. It'll change up. Oh, that's going to hurt. A massive swing from Stern. Leon's <laughs> just shrugging it off out of your pictures. Like, yeah, whatever, I'm fine. All good. Well, I'm trying to think of where did the block go? Oh, there it is. Tight pass. Kubiak had to jump up on that in case it came over. Great set. Stern just. Look at that momentum, too. Takes him to no man's land. What a pass that is from Zatorski. Off of a really good serve by Slovenia. And the heat from both teams. So the last point we saw Leon stumble back. This time, Chebul stumbles back. Everybody's taking it off of their chest. And that just shows how great the attack placement is. It's coming so hard at players, they, ha they have no way to react and get their hands up in time. Kubiak doesn't find the baseline, so then you have their side out. Poland in such a good place right now. Yeah, they really are. Things are clicking, you know, they might not get every single dig, but their, ser their serving is out of this world. Row prep for Slovenia. Good touch oh, by wow. Row prep. Oh, great swing from Erna. What a hard fought point that was for Slovenia. Oh my gosh, that save, Clayton, that was amazing. Row prep, I thought he was going to take three of our cameras down there. GoPro set up on the side. And here, He's got a triple block. That's what Earnout needed to do a couple plays ago. Just go high off hands, find some seams. He knows he's going to be facing one of the biggest blocks in this tournament. How can he get around it? Slovenia then with that break point brings them back to within two. Rob Pratt to serve again. Good up by Kovacic. Oh, this might not come back, it won't come back. Ooh. Ernaut was trying to recycle that. That's a, that's a tough play. Here we see Chebul's gonna get one hand on it, tries to pop it up, but again, almost creates that deep block that Poland might have gotten. Nobody ever is in that backcourt covering for Slovenia. They're all really tight. Bieniek to serve, Poland three away from a two nothing lead. Just caught a piece of Kurek, that's all it needed. Burnout makes the side out. Yeah, Kurek is upset on that block. Got, a, I think, actually a piece of his face, which you can never control where the ball's going to come off of that. I think he put a dent in the floor. Yikes! That was spicy. He's found that angle again. I'd say that's his favorite angle right there. Cross court to six with a floater block. Time out by Slovenia. No more left for them. Però non vedo mai quello che chiedo io. Due palloni. Ma se mi passa in mezzo, grazie. 
io non vedo mai quello che vedo io. Quando fate quello che vedo io, vediamo se lui sa fare qualcos'altro. Dai, via! Vai, 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 Giuliani's not happy that the team aren't able to run what he wants them to run, but in part you have to say the serving pressure from Poland is really stopping them from doing a lot of things other than a high ball out wide. Another big serve, and with Ropet off the net, this is his only choice. Oh, wow. what a pick up! Oh, great pick up from Kovacic. Free ball now for Poland. And Kurek takes it to Spike Town. Now Stern is saying, oh, I, I can't play because there was a ball oh that ran gosh. across the back line. But the referee's saying, no, 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 that's way out and no, not a problem for what's going on. Well, it was so strange because the thing is, some of the players, I thought they were actually crashing the court because they thought it was set point already. It was so strange. There's a ball almost went on court, but it was kept off court. But everyone's watching what uh, Kurek's doing. They're not watching that ball at the back of the court. But it is set point now for Poland. Not quite found the baseline. And I'm actually going to say that was uh, the volleyball gods because I think <laughs> when you're playing defense and you see something like that in the backcourt on the point before, it completely distracts you. You do things differently. And so I, 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 as a player, I would have been really upset that that was not called differently. Poland three chances to side out and take the set. Well, they get it first time of asking a gift from Slovenia. Poland take it 25-21 and they lead 2-0 in this semi-final. First from Poland and then from Slovenia. You can see that Slovenia was trying to rise to the occasion and also put that pressure on the serve received for Poland who's made life very easy and, and great for Drizga running that offense. Here are the stats from the set. Error levels way down both teams. It was a really fascinating and entertaining second set where Slovenia got off to an absolute flyer. And here's the serve placement. You know, we talked about Poland putting all that pressure on Slovenia's serve reception. You see 57% of the serves were right to that middle, but most of them to the left side. In that case, that's Ernout, that's Chebul, whoever's playing on the outside. The aces are the ones in green, just one ace to position one, but expect the majority of the balls to be going right in between that seam in position five and six, forcing that front row player to, to question whether he's got to take that pass or not. He's been running hot and cold, has Leon. He's been super hot from the serving line. There's no question of that. He's had a few misses at four, but then he's been able to do this. Catch the fingers and bounce a few as well. Poland will be very happy, 2-0 up. It's all the work to be done now by Slovenia in what will be a must-win set next. Tonček Stern, Penny for his thoughts. This is what he's been up to. And this has been kind of the, looking at that again, it's one player against two, and for most of that second set, Stern, Chebel were up against at least two blockers. They had very few one-on-one -on -one situations. I don't think I can remember one single time when he was just looking at one blocker. There was one time on the right side where he had none because there was a couple players on the ground. There was some confusion, but for, I'm, all I look back on and see is three blocks, a lot of stuffs, and not a lot of hits high off hands. That's been almost impossible for Slovenia in that last set. Yeah, the only time they had a good ball in, they ran the middle, and so the outsides didn't get a look in. It's been a tough day at the office for Stern and for Chevel. 
and also for uh, the other outside hitter, Earnout. But they need to get this set to keep this game going. The Eniak to serve to get set three underway. Poland leading 2-0. That will do nicely. Earn out down the line. Fantastic start for Slovenia. That's the kind of pass they needed. Right up to Rafret. He runs a quick back set. Look at Leon way late on that drifting. But that's the kind of plays they're going to need in this set. in from Leon. Nice pick from Kovacic. And Ernau finds the baseline. So early, you can see Slovenia is already coming to play on defense. Kovacic missed a couple at the end of set two. Digs in big here. Another triple block, and we talked about that Clayton, you know, how can they find a way around it? This time Ernau just takes it right back to position one, tags the line. <laughs> Excellent ball from Satorski and a rare chance for the middle to run for Poland. Bieniek puts it down. In fact, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was Nowakowski. Now, Payank was just drifting ever so slightly, and that made life difficult. Kovacic then has to drift with him, and then he brings the ball back cross court. Nice play from the oldest player on Team Poland. Excellent ball in by Kovacic. And then Poland's block is stretched, and Ernaut can find a gap. Yeah, it's interesting. We've seen Novakoski play a little bit, but he came in late. I think he's still finding his rhythm in this game. Pying to serve. Slovenia, as they've done in pretty much every set so far, got off to a really good start. Leon did well. Nowhere for Kurek to go. Great blocking by Slovenia. Yeah, Chebel had a big fist pump on that one. He knew that was big, especially giving him confidence, knowing, yeah, they can block Kurek. They have to put it in the right place. I mean, that wasn't the greatest set to the opposite hitter. And a reminder, Slovenia won against Poland in the round robin, but it was against a very different lineup on the Polish side. again targeting Leon could prove to be profitable but there was no way for Chebel he just got his angles wrong going out wide wonderful work by Zuzka well in the middle blocker Payank who passed that free ball up for Slovenia right after he passed he actually just stood around whereas he could have been covering you see him at the bottom left of the screen He's not in a good coverage position. Had he been low, that would have been right in his bread basket, and they actually could have dug it up. <laughs> Serve from Leon. Oh, good up, correct. Yeniak hasn't, has he, hasn't. Right. So the referees decided, Do you know what, that was hit so quick, I can't tell, I'm going to have a look. Yeah. <laughs> he had to put some water on the fire. You can see already both teams, whoa! So this is a, a referee check to see whether that ball is in or out.
Oh, actually, it was just looking for a touch. So it, it was out, and it didn't touch the block. <laughs> Poland happy that it was out, because they haven't counter-challenged. Slovenia 5-2 up. They were 8-4 up in the last set. That's a bad miss. You know, you try to go deep, you try to make players at least have to decide whether they need to pass the ball, communicate, so into the net. Take some wind out of the sails out of a team. Novakovsky now for Poland. Oh dear, a mishit from Kozimernik. He'll serve again. Oh, brilliant by Chebel over the top. The NX saying I didn't touch it didn't matter. He pops up there when he gets to the outside and that sets right where he wants it. That's a great addition there by Rob Pratt. Bump set, doesn't matter, but he gets up there and he just pops up. And that swing, it's so textbook. Nice cross-court attack, a little bit of topspin. Oh, that was a tough, tough serve. Better chance maybe now for Slovenia, but we got a net touch. And Slovenia just lacking some discipline. That got scrambly, but instead of slowing things down, popping the ball nice and high, they played some plays that were a little challenging. It looks like there's going to be a net touch challenge. Uh, Kozimernik's quite convinced he didn't touch it. Second referee, Hernan Kasimikaila, saw something. Ball hitting the net, but not a hand. So we got a let. Now, now that there, that's a buzzer that the uh, coaches can use mid rally if they think something's going on. They can press that just to stop the play and then select what they want instead of trying to figure out what they want and by which point the, the opportunity may have passed. Kubiak working the hands. Yeah, Kubiak almost went over top of the block there. Look how fast this set is. This guy just pumps it right out. Right into that seam, and you can see three diggers there for Slovenia. Right in position. Still out of reach. Whoa. Good play by Slovenia. Stern flying from the back row. Look at that, Rob Fred moving forward. You can see that Poland thinks the set's going to be right in front, not expecting it to go back to Stern. That's that's a point, Rob Fred, if anything. Comes a Mernick to serve. Well dealt with by Zatorski. Oh, oh, goodness me, whoa. that's off the foot. We're going to continue on. Oh, no, we're not, because there's a mid-rally challenge. Was it off the foot or was it a half volley? Leon absolutely melted that ball. I was still gasping from the attack, and then that same gasp was like, did they get it up? Well, if it is, it'll be one crazy dig. 
That hit from Leon, 122 kilometers an hour, but it was the fact he was at the same time as the middle. Yeah. And that hit, I mean, you'd get a speeding ticket in Canada with something like that. <laughs> I think just about everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not in Germany. Oh, no, not on the Autobahn. You'd be fine out there, yeah. But was it in the right lane? That's hit the floor. Oh. It's an incredible swing. But it just shows there was absolutely no time to react. There's a look at the hit again, just ba-boom. It was a great set too, you know, kept that middle there, had to commit to the middle. The ball in. Oh, what a commit block from Bieniek. Gets the better of Payank. And that's gonna make Bieniek feel really good. He had to move with Rapret. But Rockrett chose to keep Pyank in front of him instead of run back, even though he's moving forward. That's an easy play. Bienek just has to keep moving there. All square, seven apiece. Kubiak putting Ern out under pressure. That's a bit tight. Perhaps now a better chance here. Stern. Oh, good touch by Zhushka. Great rally, this one. We haven't had a mega rally yet. Um, maybe we won't get one now as Kurek ends that one before it got any longer. Well, the Poland block was like Energizer bunnies. Jump up, jump up. You know, kept getting there, kept closing things, kept taking time away. It's 8-7. The news is that we have taken two holes on the side. The game changes. We keep the head there. Now we can distinguish when they hit hard. It's right and correct to keep it in the middle. When they hit the variation, they hit more high. The ball goes well. Now we hit it well for the player. Gregor, when you run in front, remember. Bye. Hopefully, we can see it. Yeah, 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 we can see it. Coach says saying they've got to be more focused here if they want to try and keep this match going. Correct, almost got his hands on that before Earn out then. It was very close. Yeah, really reaching over. And if he touches it before, then that's actually a point Slovenia. But you know he's disciplined. He's not going to do that. Satorski. Oh, just out of the reach Ooh. of Ropret. Oh, that is that is a big play. Poland down 5-2 at one point in this set. Now has a two-point lead. They've swung the momentum. Zatorski on that attack from Slovenia. That's the libero for Poland. Just boom. Pops his hand up, pops the ball right up. There's that ball, boom, just gets it up, perfect. Well, right up to Bienek and then Leon, maybe finding his groove again. He had a bit of a dip in that second set, but he's rolling. Change for Slovenia. As on comes Dejan Vincic to replace Ropret, one setter for another. Nice play, finds the middle, Payank happy to put it down. That's the side out that Slovenia needed. They needed that perfect pass up. I don't think that Poland's really changed up their strategy in serve receive, or serving, rather, but Payank getting involved. And you can see Robrep pushing him farther there, creating space, creating distance, giving him a lane. And straight back at you. Comes Bieniek as Poland used the middle. Bieniek to serve. Poland 10 8 to the good.
Good leave by Slovenia. Yeah, that's a good rip from Bienik as well. Nice job in the service line. It's right to that 5-6 position. Just misses the back line. Now, this is a rotation that Poland struggled on in serve receive. They won't struggle with that. First time <laughs> side out, Novakovsky. What a good pass by Zatorski. A fantastic pass, and usually whoever's serving on the Slovenian side, they usually try to go right to that 5-6 position, try to get Leon passing the ball. This time, right to the libero. You do not want to pass or serve at Zatorski, one of the best passers here. Tiona will not be happy with that. But now he's got some siding out to do off of this correct serve. Although correct decides to be nice. Oh, great serve, Payek. Again, going after that gap between Kubiak and Leon. Yeah, that's exactly what Slovenia's strategy's been. That's what works for them. When they move away from that area of the court is when they run into problems. Kubiak and Leon have had some communication issues throughout this game in that position. Hayek once again. We're all tied up at 11. Kubiak full stretch. And then Leon says, thanks very much for getting me out of trouble. I'll get us out of trouble. That's the teamwork they need. And you need to see that position six stepping in, taking that ball. Obviously, easier said than done when it's a 100 kilometer per hour or whatever serve. But that's a nice attack from Leon. That's all he has to think about in that rotation. He just needs to get outside, swing off the hands, or pound it into the court. His choice, dealer's choice. Now he's going to look to try and pound it into the court from the serving line. Oh, he has done as well. Great blocking. Poland putting all three players in the way and flooding the middle. Now Chebel was way off the net when he was swinging on that one. The set was right around the attack line. That one you need to aim high on and hit, aim way deep. Sometimes coaches even say to players, almost aim like you're aiming out of the court because he's not going to have that angle. He's never going to get it sharp. Leon again. Oh, that one's even harder than the last time you feel. Kovacic did really well to keep it in play. And a much better swing this time from Did he Chibble. listen to me? Wait, did he listen to me? I said to swing high and he's going to make a better move and that was what he did. I think he looked over. I did. <laughs> that one, the set also a little tighter. So he's got more angles. He's up higher in the net. You can see this one, but goes right off at the top of the hands. Nice point. Stern. Well, it was a quick ball for Kubiak, but they were waiting, they were lining up for him, and in particular... They were was... absolutely waiting. It was like they were camped out on the outside. They knew that that's where the set was going to go, and Kubiak absolutely drilled it into no man's land. Vincic coming up with an excellent block. So we've got a little change up. Schlifka's come in as we look at this one again. It's Kubiak, who's been substituted out. Schlipka replacing him. Easy pass for Zatorski. Oh, Whoa. insane! They've done it again! That oh. was going to go middle. It was, it, it was unbelievable. God. I'm kind of just in awe of that. And I think in a way that Drizga can set up that ball and almost let them choose. Okay, who wants it more? Just out of reach of Nokowski, but it's the same tempo. They run the same tempo in the middle and the back row. And you can only do that when you've got a player like Leon. 
Just phenomenal. Nowakowski with the serve. Poland have edged in front, 14-13. Oh, what a serve that was. It looked like it had nothing to it at all, but it's caught Erna by surprise. And in comparison to like Leon's jump serves, this looks quite tame. It does. I was thinking Novakovsky didn't get the set in that last point. He wanted to make up with it on the service line. He still wanted to add to his points total. That one just really dropped right in front of the passers, and that's a great seam area when it's short, forcing them to decide what kind of depth that's coming at. You can see how tight in the court they are right now, Clayton, on the bottom right of your screen. A ton of space in position five. So a little change of picture, just catching Nowakowski out. Sometimes that can be a, a good thing, just changing up the picture for the server. Well, when you're facing passers and they are actually starting, let's call it on the attack line, you tend to put balls into them. You forget that there's a lot of space behind to go deep. So it's a way of almost, you know, hey, I dare you, you know, go deep. You don't see that space. Chebel now for Slovenia. First swing for Schlivka, well dealt with by Kovacic. Free ball now, though, for Poland. Quicker ball out for him, and Schlivka, who's been watching for this entire match, has come on, and he's definitely up to game speed. Yeah, nice play from the outside hitter. The block's drifting. Kovacic, the libero for Slovenia. He got one, he couldn't get two. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Good. I mean, help me, Seba, but you know, how much behind you can I get to show you? No, it's too much, it's so the key is for Slovenia coming out of this timeout is going to be their side out game. They need to get out of these rotations. They put a great deal of pressure on Poland when they can pass the ball up to the net. That's when the game is at its finest. So tight. This is where Slovenia now need to hang on in there. We've had the, the dress rehearsals, the race to eight, the race to 16. This is the real deal now. And Slovenia know it. They're trailing by two. Trushka's serve, well dealt with by Kovacic. Oh, could play, earn out. He was only ever looking for hands. I think that was a beach volleyball play. <laughs> he just got up there, whoop, right off of the hands. He changed the angle of his hand at the last minute. You're going to see it here. That's a very crafty play from the outside hitter. And in fact, Ernaud actually did play beach volleyball growing up. So hey, he won U19 Beach Volleyball World Championship. He's got the skills that pays the bills, that's for sure. Stivka, first serve for him in the match. Oh, good up by Zuzka. Good up by Kovacic. Oh, that's going to trickle over. Good pancake, Leon. Great rally, this one. Maybe a swing chance now. Stern. Oh, what a dig by Zuzka. And they put wow. it away. Payek puts it down, and we've got our first mega rally. Ay, caramba. Right there, that man, Kovacic. I can't believe how many balls he got up at, but Drizga on the other side. When we watch this, Drizga makes the first big dig. You thought that Leon would end it, but no, Kovacic says, I want in on this action. 25 seconds long, that was Kovacic's second dig. Drizga's second dig. I thought that was gonna be the one that would score as well, but you can see the blockers, nice placement, great digs both sides. Oh, Leon hammers it away. We were so carried away watching the, the replay, and uh, the players decided to get on with it without us. And Poland have their side out. Oh, 
There were three points in it in the first set, 25-22. Four in it in the second, 25-21. Slovenia really going hard here. They're staying within two. They need this side out from Bieniek. Oh, they're not going to get it, though. That's an incredible serve from Bieniek. Blink and you miss that one. Well, I did. I was blinking. I didn't see it. <laughs> Even in the slow motion replay. No chance for her now. Time out, Slovenia. For those of you that can understand, what was said, apologies. The heat of the moment, emotions running high. A coach who knows what the game plan is, knows exactly how to beat Poland, but at the moment it's just not happening and he's a little bit upset. But they are under the cosh here. Poland have been bringing it, as you rightly said, Claire, from the serving line, right from the get-go. Credit to Poland as well. Their side out game has been really good against Slovenia, but the weakness now potentially between Schlivka and Leon. See if Ernau can exploit it. Oh, he's foot faulted. Ooh. Right when the toss came out of his hand, I actually saw a grimace on his face. He knew he had to chase it, and he was careful on the line. I thought he was going to get away from it, but. He had to really go reaching for it, because look at where he had to contact it, halfway through the court. Correct now for Poland. Nice set. Pike puts it away. That was really good work by Vincic. Yeah, Vincic has done a great job coming into this game, really settled in, you know, he was composed from the get-go, made a couple nice plays. That one, nice back as well. Instead of putting that middle in the middle, just changing up the angles. Hayek will serve. Leon deals with it. And so too does Novakovsky off the block and away. What a time for Leon to going back to the serving line and Slovenia recognised that they called a timeout. It's fundamental, so the attention is on the left vicino a rete se non alza vinco e sulla copertura ok dai via forte Slovenia know they have to get off this uh, first time of asking. And a new player on court for Poland. Semenyuk's coming to block. Krzyzka's gone off. It is a good ball in. And Chevel gets Slovenia out of that rotation. Fantastic push to the outside. Blockers had to sky in the middle. Chebul almost with a one on one opportunity. You got to give an effort or, you know, gold star to Novakovsky if you're even trying to get out there to close it after all of the options that were happening on the Slovenian side. Stern. Oh, 
that's a wonderful pass from Zatorski. Schlifka's always clever around the block, but not clever enough. Excellent work by Dejan Vincic. And Slovenia back to within a point. Timeout Poland. I cannot see, but I guess he's closing the line. I cannot yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Put the ball up and play, just cover, give a chance to cover on that show. Stern once again, really goes after this ball. Just a little too much. Ooh. See the pain on his face. He knows that was a crucial moment in this match, trying to get Slovenia a run. Catch Marek is on to serve. Bouncing like a gazelle to get that ball. <laughs> He's going to get some action off that. Goodness me. And it's a block from Zuzka putting down Chebel. And Poland now are two points away from a place in the gold medal match. But we got a video challenge for a net touch. And I think, again, because that ball hit the net off the serve, it's going up and down. Now, if the net is going up and down, which it was, and the net moves up to hit the player as opposed to the player, Hitting the net, it's not a fault. And they're nowhere near it. I think that was a desperation play. Break right to serve again. Well, there's a big foot fault from Catch Marek. <laughs> Catch Marek then goes off. You can almost feel Slovenia with a sigh of relief, and there, Kaczmarek's foot catches the line. And that's just because players are going so hard after it on the service line, trying to toss it deep, give themselves swings. <laughs> Time to call the timeout. Able to serve. That's a big let off for Poland because now they have match point. And it's Shushku who's going back to the serving line and he's caused real havoc with his serving in this match. Chebel needs to forget it and pass this ball. Juska trying a little too hard, but licensed to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you have a bit of breathing room. You know, you've got a couple more match points in this. You don't want to let it get too far away, but you also don't want to give a free ball up and then just create some momentum for the other team. Bit of a gamble here then for Slovenia Gasparini coming on to serve. But look at that, all smiles and having a laugh. Yeah, go on, I'm going to go for it, lads, don't worry. I'll get us back into this. He That's, might well do, he could well do. It's the best energy ever I've seen from a substitute at this crucial junction in a match. Well, not only, not only that, it's Gasparini's birthday, so this could be uh, a good celebration if he can get them back into this. Oh, he just squeaks over. Still in play, swing chance. Taken Whoa. by Stern. Way to save match point. Woo. Giuliani's happy, and Gasparini, who served that ball, actually, I don't know if he knew where he was playing defense because when he ran back in the court, he was a little confused and then saw, oh my gosh, Kurex attacking the ball. I need to get to position five. And then he actually made the dig. So 
Now he's had a chance to settle into this rally. He's got to do it all again. Got to get this ball in. Poland's last chance to get it done and win from side out. Oh, it didn't happen and that's it, it's all over. Poland have put their place in the final of the Volleyball 